Hey, Geminis, I hope that you're having a good February so far. I made a pick a card for Geminis for love messages for the month of February. So I've got one, two, and three right here. And I want you to take a moment and think about what pile resonates with you the most. After you have um, tuned into yourself, thought about what resonates with you most, then you can skip around to parts of the video that uh, apply to you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and handle pile one first, and then we'll handle two and three a little bit later. So you had the rose, the puffy heart rose quartz. So let's take a look at messages from the uncertain oracle first. So solstice here I'm getting from spirit is more about your personal peaks of the year. It's not necessarily about summer or winter solstice, although your peaks may also be around that time, maybe around summer solstice. It looks like some Geminis are going through a difficult time in the month of February, and there's something to look forward to later on down the road. Because I see Spirit asking you to infuse your situation with hope, even through the frustration. So this might be talking to a close friend, talking to a trusted family member, maybe your romantic partner, uh, maybe to a therapist. But even through your temporarily frustrating situation, Spirit wants you to know that there is still a lot to look forward to. There is a rainbow after the storm. I just saw that visually speaking. This is the uncertain or the uncertain oracle by the Numinous Press. And I just got clouds visually speaking and then a rainbow afterwards. So you may be going through a difficult time within your family. You may be going through a difficult time with your romantic partner. And Spirit is still assuring you that you have some neat things coming through in the month of February. I also want to take a look at some astrological oracle cards. So these could have to do with your actual astrological transits. Be sure to double check your birth chart and make sure that these aren't your actual transits. But otherwise, I'm going to read them as an oracle. So this might be something that you want to study and this isn't something that you've talked about with anybody just yet. These are things that will transform your life on a romantic level, on a friendship level, for family, for your career. And with Uranus, I definitely see this being a massive shakeup. And for Geminis, that's probably not um, too surprising. I also see Saturn here. If you, now again, this is for astrological transits. If you have a strong influence of Uranus and Saturn in your birth chart, these planets might be testing you on an astrological basis. On an oracle basis, this is going to be the drill sergeant who is radically changing up everything about your life once you study these particular things. And this could be a new spiritual route for yourself. This could be a whole new business. 
But it doesn't surprise me that um, Gemini's would want to shake things up on a really fundamental level. Also doesn't surprise me that in your 12th house and how this is visualized, and this is a deck from Labyrinthos. Labyrinthos, and this is the Astrologica, or, the, excuse me, the Claves Astrologica, and I know that I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. Fantastic way that they have portrayed this particular version of the 12th house. Uh, I see some duality here with Gemini's, and I do see that this air sign is going to be exploring how they cycle through their lives. I'm feeling an up-leveling in how they choose to go through the next cycle of their life. And I do suspect that with what's going on with the uncertain oracle here, that after the storm clouds have kind of um, gone away, you're going to have your rainbow, you're going to have your hopeful, the hopeful part of your cycle, and that's where the information that you gathered during the old cycle comes in handy. So this could be you going on to school, to university, um, and you might meet somebody there. But I'm getting so far that Spirit wants you to finish a cycle and improve yourself. Become the best version of yourself before you meet this person. So I also want to do a Celtic cross with the White Newman Tarot. So I might do things a little bit differently from other folks. So your central theme, Pile 1 Geminis, is your Eight of Swords. So this is information that isn't necessarily true, that is blocking you from seeing the reality of your situation. In the Upright Eight of Swords, this is a these are kind of blinders that you've put on yourself and therefore you are the only one who can take it off. I see someone assisting you, not necessarily crossing you because this isn't in the reverse position. There is a king of a king of wands here. Excuse me. There might be a king of swords in your life. There is a king of wands here who wants to see you do better. And this could be an aspect of yourself. I know that a lot of Geminis are go-getters, but this could honestly be an aspect of yourself that wants to let go of um, how you've saw, how you how you've looked at life in the past. And with these Oracle, with the Oracle, with the astrological Oracle, Oracle deck up there, maybe I can get that word out sometime. Um, I definitely see you letting go of some old ways of thinking, and that's what this card is ultimately about. And this is a great card to have assisting you in letting go of those old blinders. And absolutely, it makes sense if you want to go into a new cycle, if you want to go into a new romantic relationship, you are going to need to do some revising to yourself first. I see a slow moving past. So this would, I suspect, tie into this um, situation here with the uncertain oracle where you are kind of working through a frustrating situation. I can see how it feels like there's some stuck energy here with the eight of wands in the past. And you can make that Turn that, I should say, from a stuck energy time into I'm going to power up for my up-leveling time. So it may be for some Geminis that you've got some blinders on, you've got a blindfold on you, so to speak, when you think about your situation. 
because you've been kind of unwilling to move it forward. That's kind of changing now, but in the past, you might have been reluctant to do this. I want more information on the King of Pentacles. We might do that in just a second with some clarification cards. This might be some inexperience about a um, about life. This might be an experience about romantic life. This might be experience about inexperience, I should say, when it comes to friends and picking the right friends that you want to be around. The kind that challenge you in a positive way, that ask you to be the best per best version of yourself. I have some conflict here, so you might have some conflict. This might be that frustrating situation, honestly. That's what's going on consciously, and that might be what part of what's putting the blinders on where you are personally. There might be just so much being taken away from you, energetically speaking, that you're not able to focus on the reality of your situation. But again, that's changing with the King of Wands, an aspect within yourself. You might have um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries within your birth chart. Be sure to check, okay? That's what's going on consciously. <clears throat> and I hope that you can see this. Subconsciously, you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is an awesome card to have. So that is what is moving your situation overall is spirit wants to move you towards this ten of pentacles towards ultimate security for yourself and for your family members of course for your romantic partner for your children if that's what you want and also for people around you you're going to be able to be generous as a result of you choosing to go through this up leveling to take this take these blinders off and i see you doing that with the king of wands and especially in the month of February, there's something major going on. Um, if not astrologically speaking, then the oracle is definitely saying that you've got some major work coming through um, pile one in the month of February. I see the universe restoring balance to the um, kind of forcefully, forcefully restoring balance to your situation, whatever's causing you frustration. I get that the universe wants you to work with it when it comes to its flow. Some things are going to wash out, so to speak. I'm getting the word flood, so some of you it might feel like you're just being flooded with stuff happening, events happening. Um, this might feel like a really um, catastrophic time for some of you folks. Good time to reach out for therapy to the trusted friend and all that kind of good stuff. But on the other hand, um, the universe wants you to work with it. That might mean being truthful for yourself. With the temperance in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse, that points to a need to definitely leveling up as far as you being careful of your physical resources, of your relationships, being careful about the earthly resources that make life comfortable for us. The universe is asking you to become a master of your earthly resources and of the people around you and not being, being good in, their, in the, those relationships, not being a master of those people. That came out badly. But truly it's going to be the kind of relationship where they are free to grow and you are free to grow you're not constricting each other this could also point to gemini's learning not this particular set of gemini's learning not to be so wasteful with their earthly earthly resources so your external circumstances it's that stuck energy once again and i encourage you to not think of this as stuck energy but as kind of waiting for 
something to happen. But in the meantime, you're gathering energy, you're gathering information, resources, so that when it's time to get up off the bed, you are energized and ready to go. So some Geminis might be excited about and fearful of working hard through this new cycle and also working hard through the old cycle to get ready for the new part of your life, the new leg of your life. So what have you got as far as your outcome? So keeping some resources to yourself, not necessarily giving everything away to others. Sometimes it is important to save up for your future, save up earthly, re earthly resources for your future. And the universe right here with temperance is definitely saying maybe it's a good time to hold back some material items for yourself so that this might be saving up to go to school, for instance, for some of you folks. I'm definitely seeing that Pile 1 needs to expand themselves mentally, expand themselves in terms of their earthly resources. This may be starting a new job. This may be starting a new business for yourself, a new online business. This might be starting a, um, a Twitch or a YouTube channel that grows over time, maybe surrounding one of your favorite ho hobbies, for instance. But I'm definitely seeing overall a need for you to grow before you are able to advance as far as your love life. So you have a couple more cards from the Sufi Wisdom deck. I want to take a look at those. Yeah, this is about the life pur life's purpose. You might be dealing with some surprises, both... Um, more positive and more negative over the old and the new cycle New cycle while you transition into this new cycle. Something about February is definitely getting the ball rolling. But during this time, while, while you gather resources, while you gather information, while you work on yourself, you're being asked to look at nature, simple pleasures, so for a lot of folks, I've been getting that turning back to nature, going for walks. If you have a pretty park, go for the pretty park. But slowing down and enjoying life is going to be key to you finding your life's purpose here. And it may be that part of your life's purpose is learning how to deal with the unexpected parts of life. Um... Some Geminis may not deal, this pile may not deal well with any kind of surprise. Um, being a Gemini, for whatever reason, I don't like the unexpected. Then that might be another transit coming through there. But for some Geminis, you may need to look at your birth chart. Birth chart. Take a look at what's keeping you from exploring what you don't expect. Picking, like going traveling, for instance, picking a random street and just going down and seeing what happens, right? When you can travel. There are no more messages for you from Spirit for February 2022. Geminis, I hope that you have a great week. If you would like a personal reading from me, Please check out my website at fourwandsdivination.com and I hope that you have a great day. Hey, Geminis who picked pile two. These are your love, me love messages for February 2022. And this is Labradorite, which is a healing crystal which absorbs dark energies. I want to take a look at the Uncertain Oracle first and see what messages you have deeper serendipity 
sacred anger, and home. Yes, that says home. I wonder uh, what about your situation at home is causing sacred anger. And we might get into that more deeply in your reading. There's a serendipitous situation that's asking you to look deeper. And underneath spirit is underneath your situation spirit is quite angry about something in your home situation the reading is probably definitely going to reveal some details here because the sacred anger makes me wonder if something isn't being hidden kind of like those whitewashed tombs if you will where um, Something looks nice on the surface, but um, behind closed doors, it's a nightmare, right? Let's take a look at the Claves Astrological. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's from Labyrinthos. These can be astrological transits in your birth chart, so be sure to take a look at that. But for the most part, I'm going to read this as... Um, an oracle messages to you personally. This is about the seventh house, so that doesn't surprise me with the home card. So, love messages for February for pile two will be about an established relationship that you're already in. This is making spirit angry. I see, and it doesn't surprise me that I've got Leo landing on that same card. You might have a um, li strong Leo in your birth chart, and that may be part of what is cluing you into that whole idea that spirit is not happy about your situation. So absolutely, this is going to be something that washes through you and transforms. Pluto is about the end of one era and the beginning of a new one. And it's also connected to Persephone. Um, we have here um, the pomegranate. So if you pray to Persephone, if Perse Persephone is one of your spirit guides, then she might be quite influential for you, Gemini. I absolutely feel that Spirit is asking you to transform a relationship that you are currently in. Spirit may be asking you to break up with this person. Spirit may be asking you to divorce this person. Spirit knows that this is incredibly hard, but this is ultimately for your greater good and for the other person's greater good. So I want to take a look at your Celtic cross with the white Newman tarot as well. Right away, what's crossing you? Um, well, first of all, you have an obstacle in your path. You are supposed to be on this journey with the chariot. This is a, if not a spirit-led journey, then it's definitely one that you're supposed to be on. So. It's not, having the chariot in reverse isn't an awful thing. All it means is that you have an obstacle in your path and it's up to you to decide whether you want to go around the obstacle, go over it, under it, whether you want to break up the obstacle, you know, you know, destroy the obstacle and go through it. Completely up to you, but I see unhappiness crossing you here. So that may be the obstacle is you may be deeply unhappy. You may have be going through depression at this point. And in that case, please contact a therapist. Um, some folks may need a, a medication adjustment. That's going to be for some rare folks. 
You have the Queen of Pentacles upright here in the past, though, which is nurturing yourself, nurturing others, um, being someone who is really... Um, you might have some Virgo energy in your birth chart, but you're really, really good with budgeting, with finances, with taking care of the house and that kind of thing. And that's in the past. So you might have felt pretty domestic in the past. It might have been fun to be married or in a relationship or living with this person, but that was in the past, right? And now we're unhappy. We're stopped. Um, on our journey. Now, in the future, I do see change, and it's a change that is going to be going to feel good for you. So that's coming up for you in the future. I want to take a look at what's moving on the conscious level. So you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Excuse me. Some Geminis may struggle with their finances. So you may have been good in some regard in the past. You may have lost track now with all of that stuff. You may have started out strong and then the wind kind of blew out of your sails when it came to taking on new opportunities. I see you quite possibly turning away new opportunities coming towards you from the universe because you are you feel stuck because you feel unhappy so the universe may be asking is asking you with the transformation with neptune the universe is asking you to come down from your place as the hanged person right um this is no longer a time for you to think you are free to hop down and go and act on what you've thought about. Go and act on the revelations that Spirit has sent your way. So I didn't use this particular, I didn't use the Wildwood Tarot deck, but the Wildwood combines the Tower and the Hanged Man, hanged man into one card. And this is where the hanged man is actually being jolted from his tree from, by a lightning bolt, like you would have seen in the tower. And it suggests that it, when you see that card, that you've become too comfortable in being suspended over a situation, and that it's time to get your hands dirty and come back to Earth. And I feel like that's what's going on with this card, is that some Geminis are going to need to um come back to come to a reality that kind of sucks for the time being in order to grow you've gathered enough resources you've gathered enough knowledge right here with the queen of pentacles and it's time now to roll forward with that knowledge so there's your advice to value yourself value your relationship with the earth and how it how it enriches you so on the Rider Waite Smith version of the Nine of Pentacles, there are grapes growing. And ostensibly those grapes were going to be turned into wine. And only the highest quality grapes turn into good quality wine. And in order to have high quality grapes, you need to have a certain kind of soil. So this is about not just being enriched by the earth, but taking care of the earth in such a way that it can continue to enrich you, to continue to give you good grapes so that you could have good wine. This is investing in yourself. When you invest in, what the, in the messages that Spirit is sending your way, you are investing in yourself here. Value yourself here with this. So that is your advice card. With your external situation, you may not be looking, may not be planning for any kind of new situation. And this might be where the universe kind of disrupts your life. 
the universe might be cutting you down from your tree, from your hanging place of suspension where you're kind of thinking about life but not actively participating it. This is what is moving subconsciously and yet that might be coming up for you as you may not have the option to not plan in the future. See what you can do to, in baby steps, think about life outside of this situation that is causing so, causing spirit to be upset here with the sacred anger. This is not the best place for you. You have better places to be is what I'm getting from spirit. Yep, Ace of Wands, you're going to need to act here. I see both fear and uh, kind of excitement for what it could feel like to act on this situation. I want you to channel King of Wands energy here in the sense that you see a situation and you go for it. The King of Wands doesn't sit in his throne for too long. Now, with the assistance of the King of Swords, there's some real thought into the timing of when the King of Wands stands up and goes and does. But absolutely, this is the time for you to start channeling your inner King of Wands, regardless of whether you identify with the feminine or the masculine aspect you still need to be the master of you taking action, the master of your own spirituality. And coming back into contact with spirit here is going to be part of that. And then you have the seven of pentacles. When you invest in the universe's messages to you to make yourself better, you create wonderful change for yourself. Things feel good even when things are, even when catastrophic change is headed your way. The catastrophic feels good, if that makes any sense. And then you have a wonderful harvest headed your way. Be sure not to pull up your growing plants. Be sure not to pull up your earthly resources. This may be about micro investing, for instance. Uh, micro investing in the stock market. This might be starting an online business for yourself. But be careful to tend this and give it the resources it needs to grow so that you have a wonderful harvest later on. Definitely about growing yourself through this frustrating, this difficult situation that you need to transition out of. It's possible that this current love, love relationship that you're in now has gone stale, has gone stagnant, and that this is how we um, bring life back to you. You may have felt like nothing is happening. You might feel kind of lifeless, so to speak. And this is how, this, this is how that, that energy is going to come back to you. So last and not least, some messages from Sufi Wisdom. Listening to a therapist, I suspect, is going to be really, really helpful to you, Pile 2, who had the lovely Labradorite. And um, Pile 1 also had a similar message to slow down and relax, to Take in, the take in the messages that nature has to give you, right? The universe, spirit abs absolutely talks through nature. And look forward to your creating a new cycle for yourself, thinking about what you want to do for yourself. Some Geminis may have lost themselves in this love relationship. They may have lost their boundaries. They may have sacrificed things that they loved to do in order to make space for this relationship. Spirit is asking you to come back in love with those things that you love to do before you started being with this person. Some of you may have enjoyed these activities early in the relationship, but as life kind of wore on, um, you lost those hobbies just because you didn't have the time. You felt like you didn't have the time. You have a unique ability to recreate 
yourself to be the butterfly who is reborn. Um, and I don't mean to get too crazy with all the metaphors, but with some really, really strong advice by taking in the vet messages that the universe has to, has to give you, investing in those messages is how you're going to create for yourself a new future that you love to be in. Remember above all that you are unique and for Geminis, that's absolutely true, right? I've heard some people say that we are the babies of the ast of the astrological. I'm going to get it eventually. <coughs> Excuse me. So, folks, those are all the messages that Spirit has for you. If I can give you a personal reading, please take a look at the website, my website, fourwandsdivination.com. I'm still the spirit of Mercury Retrograde, so it must be that. Fourwandsdivination.com, I would love to do a personal reading for you. I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful February. Pile 3, Geminis, I hope that you're doing well. Let's take a look at your February messages, your love messages. This is a spirit crystal, and spoiler alert, I saw the spirit card appearing in the uncertain oracle so you definitely have there's a spirit card you definitely need to be listening to spirit at this time listening carefully to spirit asking spirits thoughts about yeah here's the trust card <coughs> asking asking spirits thoughts about what's going on what you should do in a situation even if you feel like it's minor Tune into spirit. They may have different thoughts than you about the situation. They may have some really neat advice here. Trust spirit through this situation. There is a name of a person coming. This is something that you need to trust spirit on. This isn't going to resonate for every person who picked this particular pile. But for some folks, you may be hearing the name of someone that you're going to be dating in the future. Shout, expressing. So this could be you talking to family members about a new relationship that you have. We're going to get into more details here with the reading. But this is about expressing a name of uh, it could be that some Geminis are coming out and this is them coming out with their new that with their name right their preferred name let's get some more details going on some details with the claves astrologica and I know that I'm mispronouncing that so these could be planetary transits for you be sure to check your birth chart. Take a look at what you have going on with Scorpio, if that figures in your birth chart. But otherwise, I'm going to read this as an oracle deck and not so much astrological transits. I'm still learning those, I'll be honest. <coughs> I think you could get a degree in astrology. You could get like a PhD in astrology and still have a lot to learn. So this is going to be about something in your career. You're going to be going through a transformation in your career, excuse me, your career. So this could be kind of a rarish event coming up. This could be with the next solar eclipse that's coming up. I don't know when that would be though, but it could be that you need to be working with the moon when it comes to transforming this career, especially when it comes to if you're starting a new business. Some folks might like to do some moon magic, work with the moon. Um, you know, there's an article from Biddy Tarot that talks about working with the moon and with your new business. And it was specific to like starting a tarot business, but... Um, that can be applied to any kind of business that's new. So working with some moon magic on some career and moving up in the world. 
it might not necessarily have to do with career, but definitely it might have to do with advancing um, your place in the world. And I don't know what that could mean for you. That could mean marrying somebody specific that that's supposed to happen in order for you to advance in um, what spirit wants you to do. I want to do a Celtic cross with you with the white Newman tarot really, really quickly. So you have the King of Cups in reverse here. So this is being not necessarily the master of your emotions. You might feel overwhelmed by emotions. It might be easy for you to be overwhelmed by emotions. Your external circumstances may be a lot at this time and it's feeling ultra tempestuous. This is where spirit is asking you to become the king of cups through your situation. And this might be where spirit really wants you to tune in. And, you know, for some folks, you might be identified, identify your spirit guides by name. Um, I knew that it was a little while before I, I identified my spirit guide by name. Um, and that was a really neat event. That was something that, um, I love expressing to people, but this might be something connected with a business that spirit, a career that spirit wants you to do. Um, and this might be a pretty severe adjustment for you folks or some Gemini's you might be really looking forward to this. I mean, it all depends on personality type at the end of the day and your personal birth chart. There's a lot going on in your birth chart besides just being a Gemini. But sometimes being the King of Cups is not easy for Geminis. Being the King of Swords just fine, right? But the King of Cups, maybe not so much. You have the Queen of Cups crossing the situation. This might be a relationship that you are in, Pile 3 Geminis. But... It might be that you have two aspects within yourself that are not working, that your balances, excuse me, that your emotional balance is not there. And also that you're not listening to your intuition the way that you really need to be. And that it's not helping you become more attached to your emotions, being more calm about them, not needing external cir circumstances to upset things. Um, it doesn't upset you as much as what I'm trying to say. You need to come back into in, come back to your intuition. You need to come back to your spirit guides. Trust them in order to get through this situation that you're going through in the month of February. This could to be, be this could be to do with love. You may need to do some business stuff before you can get to the love aspect in the month of February, okay? We'll take a look at your love messages in the month of March to see how that situation has changed, but this is what's coming up so far. With the Six of Wands reversed, this is people who are maybe happy to see you upset. These are people who may not be happy to see you doing well in life. They um, are happy when you're not doing well and they're not happy for you when things are going well for you. That's in your past. You might be also privately celebrating some aspects about what you've done. But here, I'm really getting that in the past some people weren't excited for where you were in life. And you're still being asked to become the master, use this situation to become the master of um, your external circumstances. Stuff can happen, but you're still at internal peace for yourself, right? So that's your past, your present, and your future self-love for yourself. Absolutely. So this is about filling your cup before you can take care of others. You absolutely must become the master of emotions in your personal life before you can move on and fully love others, right? At the end of the day, this is about becoming the master of self-love. 
and that might be a challenge for some folks. Past, present, future, let's take a look at what you have going on consciously. That's the Knight of Swords. So this is energy that has slowed down. Knight of Swords, this is our element, and it looks like in this case, this would be kind of a stop even. Or it feels like I want to go faster, but I can't go fast enough. For some Gemini, for some folks who picked this pile, you might be doing some destructive stuff because you're King of Cups. You are not the full master of your emotions. And you don't, it's not intentional, right? On the other hand, it's still our responsibility to be the best person that we can possibly possibly be and level up to be the King of Cups. There is no gender in tarot. This is for everybody, regardless of their gender identity. So something may not have worked out in the past. Um, this is about maybe a project or a relationship. Didn't work out in the past. Maybe your relationships kind of start and then they kind of die out quickly. So your reality is to see those situations as growth. Even if it didn't feel like growth back then, you're being encouraged to see that as the potential for growth today and to move forward as the Knight of Swords to explore new ways of communicating, new ways of thinking. Sometimes it's uh, it's good. Sometimes it's for the best for something to collapse, to fail. Sometimes a tower moment is necessary in order for us to be the best person that we can be. So this is your advice. We're going to take a look at your rod. That was your cross. I'm going to take a look at your advice as best as we can with Kitty's tail. So you have the five of cups here. This is about regrets. Excuse me and the Ace of Cups. So you may need to mourn the past and then move on. This is very much a temporary kind of card in that you're not supposed to stay here, but you are supposed to grieve um, what isn't, um, what isn't, what wasn't, what you wanted things to be, but it didn't pan out. With your external circumstances, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse, which says that maybe you're kind of stuck about something that you want to say. Maybe you're just flat out not able to say something just yet. You're kind of being held back, and that's difficult for Geminis. Let me work around Kitty's tail. You have the High Priestess in reverse here. That's your hope slash your fear placement. You might be afraid of obtaining the new knowledge which the High Priestess wants to give you, which the spirit guides, your ancestors, your um, the, which the universe wants to give you. Whatever this King of Cups situation looks like for you personally, this is creating quite a bit of tension. You both want to be this master of your emotions, the master of your external circumstances. At the same time, you're afraid of the work that it takes to get there. The High Priestess still wants you to study, to pay close attention to what Spirit wants you to do. And then she'll let you through the pomegranate curtain. Last and not least, you have the Hierophant. This could be the marriage card for some folks. <coughs> this could be going along traditional paths, going along traditional, um, maybe a traditional religion, for instance, for some folks. This may be listening closely to guides, um, earth angels, who kind of point the way 
to what spirit wants you to do, to believe, to think, to act on next in your life. So with the advice, with your future and with your outcome, in order to get this outcome, you need to go through this period, period of letting go of the past. Pour one out for the stuff that didn't happen, right? That you wanted to happen. Love yourself through this letting go ceremony. For some of you, you may like to do a, um, a magical, um, a magical spell, for instance, a magical ceremony for yourself if you do practice. And then you can start to bridge the gap between the earthly realm and what's past the veil with spirit's help, with spirit's assistance, with earth angel's assistance. But definitely what's going on in the month of February, it feels like a spiritual up-leveling for you in order for you to get to your loved one, so to speak. Spirit says those are all the messages. Oh, those aren't all the messages. I was just about to take a look at your, I was about to miss your Sufi wisdom cards. So remember that you are a work of art and this is in alignment with your speak out, excuse me, kitty. <laughs> this is in alignment with your shout card. Definitely express yourself creatively, talk with people that maybe you have, don't normally talk with. This is going to be reaching out, networking, meeting new people, that kind of thing. You are a work of art and the concealed power is part of that being a work of art. I see some stopped up communication energy, some stopped up thinking energy here for this pile of Geminis. So letting go, maybe doing some work with the throat chakra, maybe doing some meditation, um, definitely some yoga. I love, absolutely benefit from yoga. It's part of what's going to keep you in touch with your concealed power. I'm getting definitely magician here. You have everything you need within yourself in order to be able to progress. Get in touch with spirit. Stay close in, close in touch with spirit this month of February um, in order to find your way to love for yourself, for others, for a romantic partner, that kind of thing. I hope that you folks have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading for me, you can get in touch with me at fourwandsdivination.com. Have a good one.